My name is Alan Sprague. I work for uh, Oregon State University College of Business. We really were at a crisis point of, you know, do we keep doing VDI the way we're doing it? Do we buy a full SAN? Um, or do we look at something else? I had a fairly significant investment in existing server infrastructure. I had this stack of servers that I just purchased the previous year, so they were less than a year old at that point. So we needed something that would take advantage of that without having to forklift all that out and build a you know, whole new SAN. So vSAN allowed us to leverage all that existing investment that we had in, in server hardware and turn it over into a, a, a platform that actually would effectively meet our needs. And our needs were, extremely high eye upload. Our VDI desktops aren't like most VDI desktops. We're doing things like uh, full Adobe Creative Suite, we've got the full Microsoft Visual Studio Suite, we've got AutoCAD and, and Revit. So this is power user software. We needed something that could handle that kind of workload. We basically went from zero to vSAN in three days. And I now have a stable environment that I can grow organically or shrink organically depending on what our needs are. It was really pretty amazing. The management console is incredibly simple, you know, adding drives is incredibly simple, adding servers is incredibly simple. It, it really provides a, an incredibly flexible stack now. I can add servers onto the bottom of that stack as we get budget to do it, expire servers off the top, or just add servers to add capacity. Very linear scaling, you know. Our, our latency issues are gone. Our turnaround times were upwards of 20 to 30 minutes. Now we can turn over a classroom in two, three minutes. This is the right way to do storage. It really is. And vSAN is really the first time that we've seen a fully production ready product that can make this happen. That allows us to scale our deployments the way we want to and not get locked in to any one vendor or any one hardware platform or anyone drive even, it, it really did work as advertised. It, the fact that I've been able to set it and forget it is huge because I didn't have time to futz with it, right? I would not have been able to do everything else that needed to get done in my job if I'd had to spend half my time futzing with the storage. I had to be able to fire it up, turn it on, and go. And that's what happened. They said it was gonna save me two thirds of the cost of a sand, and guess what? It saved me two thirds of the cost of a sand. In the long run, unquestionably, it's going to save you money, right? Because you're not having to forklift out that environment. And once you get it in place, you never have to touch it again, right? That environment stays the same as you continue to grow either direction, either get bigger or collapse down. It's very clear that this is the direction that, that the data center is going. You know, this is the way to do it right.